moksha is in the mind. That which is binding me is in my mind. It's my own ignorance. It's my own ego. It's my own attachments. It's my own fears, my own desires, my own separation from myself and the truth of myself. The key to moksha is to recognize the truth of who I am. That divinity, that fullness, that wholeness, that infinite consciousness, that pure awareness, this is the key. And so it's not about whether to do it with Lord Shiva Mantra, Lord Vishnu Mantra, the Mother Goddess Mantra, Om. I mean, you only gave two options, but there's so many different options. It's not about that. It's about how you feel connected to that mantra. How that mantra works in you, that's what matters the most. All of the forms of the divine we know are part of the supreme reality. Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, they're not separate entities. They're separate powers of the same supreme reality. And so whatever word you use, whatever name you use, what matters most is not the name, but the love that you use it with. Imagine if your child says to you, I don't know if the questioner was male or female, but if, you're, if your child says to you, let's say you're a, a man who asked it, if your child calls you dad or daddy or pita or pitaji or papa or just pa, do you care? Do you love the child who says pitaji? more than you love the child who says, Daddy? What matters to you is that the child is saying it with love. That when the child says it, their heart is full of love, that they're calling out to you with love. That's what matters. So whether you're praying, Hey, Shankar Bhagwan. Hey, Bhagwan Shiv. Om Namah Shivaya. Whether you're praying to Lord Vishnu or any of Lord Vishnu's incarnations, you're praying to Krishna, you're pray, praying to Ram, to any of the incarnations, or you're praying, He Ma Durga, Ma Saraswati, Ma Lakshmi, Ganeshji, Jay Hanuman, right? I mean, how many options? We have infinite numbers of options. All that matters is that you pray with love. So find the form, the name that fills you with the most love that when you're chanting that mantra, you're reciting the name of the beloved. That's the fastest way to the moksha the real bhakti, real love, real devotion that automatically merges you into oneness in love. Don't worry about the semantics. When you're in the arms of the beloved, whether you say sweetheart or you say darling or you say dear or you say beloved or you say mera jaan, or you say pyadi, or you say whatever other Hindi ways there are of saying beloved, or any language. Doesn't matter. People say all kinds of funny names in love. Oh, my fruit cake. Oh, my cheesecake. Right? I mean, you hear people say all kinds of funny things all the time. But when you know cheesecake means me, you love it. 
So it's not, it's not so much which, which word or name or mantra. It's the love. If even we, without God's omniscience, omnipotence, are able to understand, to feel love in someone calling us cheesecake. Imagine, imagine God being able to feel your love, feel your devotion in any name, all the names. So chant the mantras and see which one feels the most like you're approaching your beloved like you're speaking to the beloved, like you're calling out to the beloved. And then chant that mantra. Chant it with love. Then that's your key.